Hey guys, Famous Amos here and today we're going to be breaking down the Origin Trail GS1 connection. If you haven't already watched my first video breaking down exactly what Origin Trail is, feel free to take a pause here and watch that video and come right back. We're going to need to have you all caught up to ensure that we fully grasp what's being built with Origin Trail. So since we already know what Origin Trail does, let's dive into the GS1 connection and what they do before we start talking about what both organizations are doing together. So what is GS1? Hold on. <sighs> yeah, that's much better. Because I need to be calm before I hit people with this goddamn... GS1 is an organization that focuses on ensuring that businesses, customers, suppliers, and partners speak the same language. GS1 works with enterprises of all types and every imaginable size, ensuring that everyone agrees to these standards that are right for their participating members. Now, GS1 achieves this through something that we all know and use today. In fact, you've used this particular GS1 standard so many times, you probably don't even think about it anymore. GS1 promotes interoperability between businesses, customers, suppliers, and partners utilizing the barcode. That's right, the barcode. Let's review their origin story. Their website states, on the 26th of June 1974, a packet of chewing gum became the first barcoded product to be scanned in store. Today, barcodes play a critical supply chain role, ensuring products hit retail shelves at the right times. We manage the barcode standard used by retailers, manufacturers, and suppliers. If you want to put a barcode on an item that can be scanned anywhere in the world, you need to talk to us. In short, any barcode you see today is managed by GS1. Needless to say, GS1 is working with the world's largest organizations such as Google, Alibaba, Amazon, Walmart, and trust me, a lot more, even some government bodies. Now, to really understand the scope of what Origin Trail is doing, we're going to have to get a deeper understanding of the GS1 standards and what they actually mean to everyday shoppers and business entities. The GS1 standards try to facilitate three primary abilities. One, the ability to identify products, businesses, and more. Two, the ability to capture important data about products and more via barcodes. Three, the ability to data exchange all the above and more information. I would like for you to pay attention to the identification area as this is key to understanding everything about GS1. After watching this video, I'm sure you'll understand what these standards are and how they are applied in the real world. When a company or person joins GS1 UK and becomes a member, we license a company prefix to them. This company prefix is a number that is unique to each member. From this company prefix, you can create numbers to identify your products, which is what most people who join us do. These numbers are called Global Trade Item Numbers, or GTINs. You see them beneath the barcodes you find on almost every product that's sold in the world. These numbers are used everywhere in retail and also in online marketplaces like eBay, Amazon and Google Shopping. They're also used in food service. And now they're widely used in healthcare too, helping to save lives and money. But your company prefix can also be used to create numbers that allow you to identify cases of your products. And you can create numbers to identify pallets and logistics units too, so you can track your shipments. They can even be used to create numbers for companies and places, such as stores, distribution centers, and also hospitals. And your company prefix can even be used to create identifiers for assets and people. In healthcare, this helps improve patient care. These same numbers are used in almost every country in the world because they are all part of the GS1 global system of standards. We've been providing these unique numbers since 1974 and only by licensing your numbers from GS1 can this uniqueness be guaranteed. Which is why over 29,000 companies in the UK and over 2 million globally use GS1 standards to help make their businesses run more efficiently. To see how GS1 standards can help your business, contact us today. Now that you understand the different use cases for GS1 standards, let's dive into the area in which Origin Trail and GS1 intersects. 
we're going to be taking a look at the GS1's ability to facilitate data sharing. GS1 describes this as GS1 standards for information sharing include data standards for master data, business transaction data, and physical event data, as well as communication standards for sharing this data between applications and trading partners. Other information sharing standards include discovery standards that help locate where relevant data resides across a supply chain and trust standards that help establish the conditions for sharing data with adequate security. Now, if you watch my first video on origin trail you know that the origin trail decentralized network is a data network layer that can connect to existing legacy erp and blockchain erp software making it a prime candidate for building blockchain based decentralized supply chain solutions <gasps> what a mouthful well, on the 31st of January 2018, Origin Trail became a member of GS1. John G. Keog, sorry if I slayed your name and absolutely destroyed it, is the Supply Chain Integrity and Standards Advisor for Origin Trail. He is President and Managing Principal of Chantala Incorporated, based in Toronto and Ho Chi Minh City. He acts as an advisor to government intergovernmental agencies, NGOs, industries, solution providers, and forensic laboratories. He is a former SVP at GS1 Canada and Global Director Product and Consumer Safety at GS1 Global Office. He had this to say about Origin Trail joining the GS1 membership. GS1 standards are critical in global trade and provide common language for trading parties to communicate seamlessly. Membership of GS1 bring Origin Trail into a unique global supply chain standard organization with offices in more than 110 countries and governed by its members from 20 plus industry sectors. Origin Trail will have access to current and evolving supply chain data, information and interoperability standards that currently form the foundation of global trade. As GS1 standards facilitate the implementation of regulations, Origin Trail will be able to offer a unique competitive advantage by enabling blockchain to blockchain and blockchain to legacy interoperability through its GS1 compliant protocol. I repeat, the Origin Trail decentralized network protocol is a GS1 compliant protocol. Something even greater happened few months later. On the 5th of July, Origin Trail announced its official partnership with GS1. I can see you right now. So stop. I see you trying to open up KuCoin, getting ready to send 5 BTC to buy. I see you. <laughs> the post mentioned the obvious details that GS1 is being used by PNG, JJ, Walmart, eBay, Amazon, but also details about the technical integration of Origin Trails decentralized network has been released. We have pledged to work together with Origin Trail to pursue common long-term goals and interests in the field of global identification and development of GS1-based tracking support systems and platforms. GS1 Slovenia will provide expert assistance in introducing GS1 standards for identification and data exchange and the development and application of traceability systems based on GS1 standards. In particular, particular, I call it GS1 Epics. We will participate in the preparation and implementation of traceability projects with Origin Trail customers. With Origin Trail, we will exchange experiences and challenges from its practice in order to solve problems using GS1 standards. Think of our standards as the DNA of supply chain. They enable a complete real-time inventory picture covering all products, transactional, and location data. Now, I would like to say if GS1 is the DNA, Origin Trail is like the brain. This marks GS1's official adoption of the Origin Trail technologies. However, it leaves one question remaining. What are GS1 epics? Let's hear directly from GS1. 
Epix is a GS1 standard that enables trading partners to share information about the physical movements and status of products as they travel throughout the supply chain, from businesses to businesses and ultimately to customers. It helps answer the what, where, when, and why questions to meet customer and regulatory demands for accurate and detailed product information. The goal of Epix is to enable desperate applications to create and share visibility event data both with and across enterprises. This sharing is aimed at enabling users to gain a shared view of physical or digital objects within a relative business context. So how does this all work? How does this all come together? Amos, you said Track was the Google of supply chain blockchain. Well, to understand that, we'd have to take a look at one of the most recent releases from the Origin Trail team. But before we do that, let's hear from Google and what they think a knowledge graph is. The way Google is trying to build information about real world connections is by building a knowledge graph. The knowledge graph is about collecting information about objects in the real world. The object could be a person, could be a book, could be a movie, and many other types of things. For example, for a famous person, we collect relevant data about them, such as their date of birth or how tall they are. We can also connect that person to closely related objects in the knowledge graph. Let's say you're interested in Renaissance painters, or how about how many women have won the Nobel Prize? By understanding the relationships between things, be it between painters in the Renaissance or women in the Nobel Prize, Google can do a better job of understanding what it is exactly you're searching for. One of the first features we are going to introduce, which applies the knowledge graph, is a panel next to the web results. When you have a question to answer, others may have come to Google already to search for the same thing. Google can jumpstart your research process by combining the information that others found useful with the information in the knowledge graph. All of the collective human wisdom that comes through our search engine, what people are searching for, tells us what are the interesting things to put in our database. I repeat, if GS1 is the DNA, Origin Trail is like the brain. So now that we've heard from Google, in one of the latest released by the Origin Trail team, it says Origin Trail's technology approach to wide ranging set of supply chain data today closely resembles the way Google follows the links between websites and manages to understand their content. Both technologies harness the power of their respective knowledge graphs. However, important differences in the nature of the supply chain IT landscape and the World Wide Web require a more tailored approach in building the global supply chain knowledge graph specifically related to data governance, decentralization, and open data standards. Supply chain data is not readily available and accessible using a Google-like search engine, nor should it be. You thought I was playing, wasn't you? You thought I was clickbaiting with the Google, right? <laughs> but what you didn't know was we don't make false claims around here. I mean, sometimes, but usually we don't. So as you can see, Origin Trail is looking and already has the partnerships to be the Google of blockchain. Later, when we start discussing their official partnership with BSI and, and diving deeper into the technology, you'll see how this is even more so the truth. If you guys won't mind doing me a favor, absolutely destroy the like button. It really helps my channel grow and keeps me motivated to pump out more videos. Famous Amos here. Peace and love always.